chapter 8, lesson 4 is comparing and ordering fractions. So again, this is a little bit stressful because the kids have to compare uh, not just simple fractions, but now both improper and mixed numbers. So when we're comparing two things, we use the same strategies as in grade 3. Okay, now... Um, if we're comparing whole numbers, I'm sorry, if we're comparing mixed numbers, it's best to compare first the whole numbers. Okay, if the whole numbers are the same, then we compare the fractions. And we use the strategy from grade 3. Okay, however, if we're, using, if we're comparing a mixture of improper and mixed numbers, it's best to turn them all into mixed numbers. It's easier to see. Okay, so um, our problems will come from pages 24 to 25. Okay, so here clearly the first question says which is greater. So they're both mixed numbers but both are two whole numbers. Which means what we will do is we will compare the fractions. So if we compare 3 fourths and 2 thirds, using the strategy from grade 3, we multiply across that way. So that would be 9 and that would be 8. Which means this is the greater one and this is the smaller one. So if it asks which is greater, greater is 2 and 3 fourths. Okay, so the next is which is smaller. So if we look at this, we have an improper fraction and a mixed number. So ideally, it will be easier if we use the, change the improper fraction to a mixed number. So I'm putting here on the side, 14 divided by 5. So that means that will be 2 then this is 10, remainder 4. So that means this is 2 and 4 fifth compared with 2 and 7 eighth. Now, the fact that they're both the same whole numbers, we will compare the 4 fifth and the 7 eighth. And the strategy again is we multiply, that's 32. We multiply, that's 35. This is smaller, this is greater. So the question is, which is smaller? So the 4 fifth is smaller than the 7 eighth, which makes not 2 and 4 fifth, but the answer will be 14 over 5. So when we answer the question, we have to use the original numbers that are given, not the converted answers. Okay, so similarly, in the last problem, it says arrange in increasing order. So if I look at this, this is a mixed number. This is a fraction. That's a fraction. This is an improper fraction. So I'm going to change the improper to a mixed number. So I'll put it here on the side, 12, 19 divided by 12. So that's 1 minus the 12, which gives us 7. So that means this is 1 and 3 fourth. This is 2 over 7, and this is 1 and 7 over 12. So if it wants an increasing order, clearly the smallest is 2 over 7. So we start with 2 7. Okay, then we got to compare these two. But since they're both with a 1, we will put 3 over 4 and 7 over 12. Okay, so the multiplied of this is 36. Multiplied of that is 28, which means bigger. This is greater. This is smaller, which means 7 over 12 is smaller. But when we write our answer, it's not the 1 and 7 over 12 that we write. We have to write it as 19 over 12. And we end with 1 and 
three fourth. So again, it's important that when we're comparing fractions, improper fractions and mixed number, ideally we want to change the improper fractions into mixed numbers because it's easier to compare the whole number parts of the uh, mixed numbers. That concludes lesson four of chapter three. See you in the next